No, I think it's but natural. If you look at the way the numbers are stacking up, uh, smaller parties are irrelevant to this entire process of government formation and therefore really don't have a say in, in what's going to happen. Uh, speaking for my own party, all I can tell you is that Dr. Abdullah is preparing to fly out to South Africa tomorrow morning, <laughs> uh, given that there is no clear indication. No, I'm serious. Are given you that serious? there's no clear indication from. I'm, I'm very serious. Given that there's no clear indication from the UPA that uh, he's to be sworn in tomorrow, he's booked himself uh, being the president of the JNK Cricket Association. He's flying out to South Africa tomorrow morning at 11 o'clock. But Omar, uh, does that upset you? That Because, I mean, presumably if Dr. Abdullah was getting a berth, he would have been asked to stay on. Does it upset you? You campaigned with Rahul Gandhi even outside of Jammu and Kashmir. Uh, even Farooq Abdullah went into some other areas. Does it upset you if the, if the National Conference gets left out? No, it doesn't upset us if the National Conference gets left out. I mean, it's the Prime Minister's prerogative as to who they, they select uh, uh, for the Council of Ministers. But yes, uh, we, would have, we would have expected at least a word that uh, you are included or you're not included or this is what uh, we would like, at what level we'd like your inclusion in the government. But clearly, uh, that doesn't seem to be the way in which uh, affairs are going to be conducted. And as I said, as I've been saying right from the beginning, we are not in the business of bargaining. We are not negotiating. We have not gone and sought time from the Prime Minister or Mrs. Gandhi to press our demands. We're not walking out from discussions or anything of the sort. Uh, this is the way it is, and, and so be it. But we're not going to hanker after portfolios. My father is, is quite happy to do what he's doing, and therefore he'll be quite happily watching the IPL cricket match tomorrow evening from South Africa. But over when you make the point that it was not even communicated to you uh, whether he was in or out or whether the national conference was needed or not, does that in a sense suggest to you a kind of new Congress, a more brazen Congress, a Congress that's decided that it, it's really going to set the agenda and to that extent do you see that as a kind of muscle flexing? Barkha, it's early days yet. Uh, we haven't even got the, I mean, Dr. Manmohan Singh is yet to be sworn in tomorrow. So. Uh, let's, let's not assume that the initial uh, confidence of the Congress party is going to carry or dictate its behavior over the next five years. Let's wait and see. At the end of the day, this has to be a coalition government. The Congress doesn't have the numbers to go it alone. And, and therefore, a little bit of adjustment with the, alliance, with the allies is going to be but natural.